Now to a 911 problem the I-Team continues to investigate. The ambulance company's Milwaukee Fire Department has asked to help with the 911 call load. Tell us they are nearly maxed out and they are struggling to stay fully staffed. The I-Team Sean Gallagher found a big reason they can't hire EMTs is because of the way private ambulances are paid. 911, what is the location of your emergency? The private ambulance companies that help the Milwaukee Fire Department answer the city's 911 calls say they're struggling to put trained EMTs in their ambulances. The biggest factor has to do with how private ambulance companies are paid by Medicare and Medicaid, or Badger Care in Wisconsin. It's the staffing issue, and the staffing issue goes back to reimbursement. Uh, it all ties together. The majority of the patients are covered either by Medicare or Medicaid. Medicare this year actually gently lowered our rate in the middle of a pandemic, and Medicaid has not had a significant increase in over 20 years. When you get a ride in an ambulance, depending on the nature of the call, it costs about $525. But depending on your insurance, the ambulance company may only get a fraction of that. As of this year, for a majority of calls, companies were paid $365 per Medicare patient they transported. That's a loss of $160 per call. If you're insured by Medicaid, it's even less. The state of Wisconsin reimburses them $185 per ride. That's a loss of $340 per call. Our goal is for Medicaid to match, at least match the federal Medicare reimbursement levels. If we can do that, the system will be much healthier. Um, the service model will be more sustainable. Uh, it, it essentially will fix all of our biggest issues. Private ambulances handle non-life-threatening 911 calls, so the fire department can handle the most serious ones. Ambulance companies say they need support to hire more EMTs to continue the level of service they provide for the city. I think at some point in time, someone has to wake up and go, this isn't working. In, in the last year alone, we've lost like four ambulance services. So it, it's kind of a warning sign. You're not going to get sirens because there's not going to be ambulances around. Change would have to come at the state level, and lawmakers are currently discussing the budget for the next two years. The real solution is fund Medicaid. The real solution is give them a reimbursement um, that equals their costs for gas and for the maintenance of their vehicles and to pay employees a living wage. Democrats like Senator Lena Taylor have pushed to expand Medicaid in Wisconsin under the Affordable Care Act, which would make more dollars available to pay ambulance companies. The Republican-controlled legislature has been hesitant to accept a full expansion. Concerned funds may run out at the federal level long term. But lawmakers like Republican Representative Amy Loudenbeck, a former volunteer firefighter and member of the Joint Finance Committee, may consider changing the current reimbursement rate on its own this budget cycle. There should be a reasonable reimbursement so that they are not losing money on the Medicaid populations that they have to make up for on the property taxes. So I think the argument can be made that if the state wants to, to provide coverage for people under Badger Care that we should reimburse at a rate that covers that service or comes close to at least the Medicare rate for that covered service. It's a potential solution, but it would take time. If the state of Wisconsin today changes the Medicaid rate and let's say doubles it, you're not going to see an improvement in this for at least a year because you've got to get people through school, trained and onboard the ambulances. So it's a high priority thing that these rates get adjusted. Loudenbeck notes if lawmakers don't increase the reimbursement rate in the budget, they may still be able to do so with separate legislation during this session. The I-Team will continue digging into this subject, including talks of teaming up between the Milwaukee Fire Department and the private ambulance companies in tackling the staffing issue. Reporting in Milwaukee for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher.